For us, it's understanding what the communities are using the forest for and, and how they can benefit. And that is where the entry point for Red Plus comes in. Red implementation hangs a lot on equity in sharing benefits. Up to 30-40% of local communities' livelihoods are generated from the forest and therefore they should be critical to um, the decision-making processes over those resources. The rights-based approach is, is making sure that, that they're, they're not excluded from those decisions. When you think about the right-based approaches, then you're thinking about things like um, devolution of forest management rights to, to the local level. Building in rights as the foundation for the design and implementation of Red Plus is the best way to ensure sustainability. In all the countries, projects have successfully contributed to the emergence of framework that clarify, codify and, and promote rights of women, rights of indigenous people and community rights in natural resources management and red plots design. We've had um, so many successes um, related to the way um, the project was able to uh, develop partnership with different national and local institutions. The concept of the Red Plus was not very known by the local population. Through our action, we have transmitted to the community to take conscience of the effects that they have in the deforestation and the degradation. The progress with gender has been one that is really, really uh, good. And moving from a state where we barely had a lot of gender focus to a state where we have gender mainstreamed in the national architecture for red plastic in Ghana. Los trabajos de UISN en México han tenido una importancia relevante, pues nos han permitido entender la distribución de beneficios en el proyecto de Red Plus. When you design red activities in form of livelihood enhancing options, they have a higher chance of, of succeeding. The connection of communities with nature is inspiring because they have lost their forests, much of their forests, but they are very interested in recovering it so that they don't lose their traditional knowledge. I come from a very beautiful country that has pockets of forests everywhere, uh, mountains, hills and valleys. I would like to keep it that way. I would like my children and my children's children to be able to find that overwhelming beauty. <laughs>